gentlemen, today we're going to answer the age-old question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? One of the hardest things for a father is when it comes time to send his little girl off to college. Biology. Did you get caiman? Complex life forms evolved from simpler life forms. Wait, what? A chicken egg is the same life form, just at an earlier stage. Specifically the stage taking place outside the mother, where the egg is continuing to develop, or specifically the contents of the egg, prior to hatching. Where did you learn this from? Answers in Genesis? Egad, I'm screwed. Hey, what did you think about what Professor Taylor was just saying? You mean other than the fact that as he spoke, quite literally a huge ball of straw just fell down onto the ground? It was factually flawed in the example he gave. She's one of the cutest freshmen you've seen. Just calling to get your topic for the October debate. I seriously doubt this individual's ability to debate anything. He quite literally classifies the egg of something as an entirely different species of organism to its parent organism, showing no understanding of gradual adaptation leading to the development of ring species and differential populations which can no longer interbreed and therefore an entirely new species. I really like all of my instructors, especially my biology teacher, Professor Kamen, he's a riot. AKA the Chicken Man. The guy's an evolutionist. Wait, the Chicken Man is not the creationist. Well, he certainly ain't the evolutionist either, because he has absolutely no idea what evolution is from the visual example he gave earlier. He may think that he's an evolutionist, but he's just as stupid as those creationists who believe that metamorphosis has anything to do with evolution. And now he's added fetal development to the list. Well done, creationism. You're adding more stupidity by the hour. And there's nothing in the whole course description about biblical creation as even a plausible alternative. Ooh, dramatic and spooky. Yet to answer your question, creationism is not a viable alternative to the biodiversity of life on Earth due to the fact of genetic ancestry. That's right, genetic science. All our public schools and universities teach evolution as the answer to the origins of life. I am surrounded by morons. Not a single credible individual on this planet teaches evolution as the origins of life. Evolution has fuck all to do with the origins of life. Me discussing the biodiversity of life that has occurred and evolved since life began. The word you are looking for is a biogenesis, which discusses the formation of simple molecular life via the observable process of self-assembly. So far, I'm waiting for one actual point that has fuck all to do with evolution. Don't you think Professor Kamen has some good concepts? He could be right. Have you ever seen that thing that Kamen does where he shows how we all came from apes? Nope, we didn't come from apes. We are apes, by every definition, and this is supported by both taxonomical evidence, i.e. our bone structure, as well as the genetic evidence. So, yeah, we are apes, buddy. Life comes from life, it doesn't come from non-life. Well done, boy, you're now stuck with an infinite regress. Claims that life cannot come from non-life. Did you not read the Bible, where God quite literally scooped up Earth and breathed life into it? And if you claim that God is life, then where did God's life come from? Infinite regress again. Fact is, I would agree with you on the fact that life cannot come from dirt. You see, dirt lacks many of the advanced compounds which are required for the process of self-assembly. Hence, we should be looking at the clays and the primordial oils that existed at the time that life began. Yet again, none of this has anything to do with evolution, discussing the process of a biogenesis. Geez, for a movie that apparently takes place on a campus, could you guys not please do some actual learning? Evolution versus creationism, what do you say? Professor Kamen, my dad can't debate you. Too fucking right. A debate actually requires an individual 
to know the position they are defending, which, quite frankly and clearly, nobody in this trailer knows fuck all about evolution. If I were you, I'd get out of it. I've never done anything like this before. I wasn't going to teach evolutionary lies from those textbooks. I'm out of the game. I don't blame you. This movie is looking like an even shittier version of God's Not Dead, aka Attack of the Giant Straw Man. You defeating Professor Kamen is not going to solve anything. This all sounds oddly familiar, almost like this was what every non-creationist was telling Bill Nye when he was going to have the debate with Ken Ham, which officially had Ken Ham bent over and screaming, I have a book! This guy stands against everything that we believe in. What are you doing, man? What did you tell him? I'm not interested. Do you know how embarrassing this is going to be for me? See, this is the moment where the actress realised that her career was going to die, just like the dinosaurs, and she envied that black guy for getting out when he could. They just decided to add it into the trailer because it looked dramatic. Welcome everyone to our debate tonight. Wasn't the Bible written by man? Yes it was. Then how does that make it the word of God? Whoa, getting a bit risky there, answers in Genesis. I mean, you just admitted that none of the authors of the Bible were there in the beginning. And you do believe in your viewpoint, don't you? Nope, I'm just making a serious fuss out of nothing. So yes, that was the end, and this is not my usual thing, I decided what the hell, let's have some fun, and yes, that's what I did. So, yeah. Hope you guys are all doing okay, hope you enjoyed this little treat. This is Essence of Thought, take care, and out.